Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to ad hoc tutorials video channel. In this ad hoc tutorial, I will show you how to enable PHP PDO support for MS SQL. Uh, first, uh, we will download and install necessary files and packages. We'll make some system configurations. Next, we will install a MS SQL PDO for PHP and uh, test the PDO connectivity to MS SQL server. Uh, before we start, I'll assume that you already have an Apache and PHP web server. So here is mine. My PHP version is 7.2.6. My Apache version is 2.4.6. Uh, you may also use this tutorial for any PHP version greater than 7.0. Uh, also, I'll recommend you to check my other tutorials on how to set up PHP Apache server on CentOS and also how to set up CentOS VM in VMware Workstation Player. So, let's start. Uh, first, we will install these utils. Next, let's download necessary repository file. And uh, install MS SQL tools. Well, now we need to make some system configurations. So if we, need, we need to update path variable and add this URL to path. Uh, next, we will set PHP any variable. So if we run this command, so it returns current PHP configuration file path. So let's run these commands. Well, now we'll install PDO SQL Server package for PHP. Well, now that uh, PDO SQL Server uh, package is installed, uh, we'll create separate PHP configuration file with the following contents. Also, we need to remove the following lines from the PHP ini file. So let's run these comments. Well, next we will restart the necessary services because we have made configuration changes. Well, great. Uh, now we may test the PDO connectivity. So I have an, an MS SQL server in this IP address. So uh, we'll run uh, inline PHP commands. So this command will initiate the connection to SQL Server in this address. Uh, next, we will run the following query and uh, put the end uh, output it to console. So let's run this command. So as you can see, it's working and it shows the current version of the connected SQL Server and the timestamp. So uh, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope it was useful for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.